Hi YouTuber, this is the part 4 of our, of my cell bill antenna. I use the RG58 3C uh, wire. It's kind of frenzy compared to compared to the uh, other AD wire. Nakoya Japanese print. Okay, let's first uh, solder it into. Yep. After I heating it up for too long, it broken. It melt the center of the insulation here. Also, the connector itself is melt. So I have to cut off the tip and then to insert this uh, this mess a uh, while back in and solder it up and then try to glue it back to the position this this is before I glue it back to its original place. I glue it back and test it with the the socket. Anyway, let's put uh, the rest, uh, the rest of it. Uh, after crimp it back together, crimp it together. It's just a uh, roughly okay uh, connector. So let's test the continuity if there's any short from the center to the from the center to the to the ground. Let's check uh, the center to the ground. Okay. Hi, YouTuber. If you survive to hear, you are wondering why. Where are the ground plan of my antenna? As you can see. This whole iron uh, made fence bar. I am now behind the bar. You see, it's the bar. Not I'm not in the jail, but I mean, literally, I behind the bar. This whole thing is connected to where my antenna was.
over there. So this is all of this. This is my ground plan. The ground plan is the ground of this connector here. And the center the center is connected to the to the whole to the antenna. So I'm going to use a piece of uh, a pro uh, piece of uh, aluminium tray. It's pretty. Uh, it's very easy to. Uh, it's very easy to manufacture uh, to drill many holes so I can connect the ground wire to my ground plane I mentioned previously. I prepare about 10 feet of RG50A coaxial cable. One side is BNC is BNC connector. The other side is M head and this is M mount. And as you can see the the screw over here uh is not quite ideal and also the as you uh as you know you see in my previous uh video you will you will see that when I uh, manufacture this connection here I I I introduce a lot of trouble to the center piece. Uh it's meltdown it's meltdown. So the best way to mount this this M this M M socket uh, the female M socket is is used to use the flex flex head screw over here flex head screw over here but now is all I have around a dozen of this not so flat head piece of screw here so I have to use what I have in hand so that uh, this might uh, create a lot of problem when I install this piece to the uh, this piece to the ground plane uh, it will be a, a nightmare and uh, hate that to me all the hard power were finished and now it's very difficult situation uh, this four hole took me one hour to make it so if I bring out all my tools outside and do it on site it will be a logistic uh, nightmare to do if I have some trouble and something going back and I have to return to bring back some tools especially when I uh, solder this center to the antenna aluminum wire it will create a lot of problem. If I overheat the center and these things might be mailed down again. That's another nightmare. I wish when I go up there install this uh you will not happen. In case
uh, in case of uh, the meltdown of the center of the female connector, I decided to use a piece of uh, short wire to connect to the the to to solder into the center to prevent overheat uh apply too much heat to melt down the center. So later when I when I do this ponytail on the connector I will uh, only need to cream it to the aluminium wire. I will I solder a ponytail to the center. Now I need to hard glue the center and uh, cover it with some uh, heat string. Maybe I prepare the plastic cover. I cut from some skin out coaxial cable, which I use uh, in another project. Skin out. Only the skin. So I will try to hard this this skin. Finishing product.